Hi, I'm Darren. Hola, me llamo Miguel. <laughs> Welcome to Irritable Dad Syndrome, Cincinnati's comedy podcast. Entonces, me llamo es Miguel. Donde está la biblioteca? Ah, la leche. Y, y, uh, <laughs> muy, muy. Uh, sí. Sí. Oui. 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 <laughs> She's amazing in it. Welcome to Irritable Dad Syndrome, the podcast with buttery, flaky crust. Here are your hosts, Mike and Darren. Hi, I'm Darren. I am Mike. Welcome to Irritable Dad Syndrome, Cincinnati's comedy podcast. We are here Mm -hmm. to talk about a great many things, but one thing that I want to talk about Mm -hmm. is Darren is a miserable man. (laughs) I am. Some would I say found that out today. Some would say yes. he's a son of a bitch. Oh, oh now I don't think they well, went they that didn't, far. They didn't say that. No, but that, you I, said that. So, yeah, Darren got uh, attacked online. <laughs> I did. And, and I want to talk about that and <laughs> yeah. other times when I've been attacked. And I want to talk about a traumatic story involving the elf on the shelf. Hmm. Welcome to the show. This is going to be a good one. How you been? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. Before we get into the thick of things, yeah. I, you know what? I should probably apologize to the fine people who live in the state of West Virginia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I went off on a rant yes. bitching about having to stop three times on a toll road when I was driving through West Virginia and I had to pay. I, it was like four dollars and a quarter each time. Uh, you do the math, and I wasn't happy about someone, it. Someone, someone did do the math. I, yeah. I, I was not happy at all about it, and I was bitching, and I said some things about the the state of West Virginia that I probably shouldn't have, and uh, I just want to apologize to the fine folks who live in West Virginia. So uh, my apologies. Yeah, yeah. I was in, I was in a mood. I, Daddy hadn't had anything to eat. Uh, and I think my blood sugar was low, and there's I'm sure the sun was in my eyes. There's all kinds of other excuses that I could have, but to everybody in West Virginia, please forgive me and uh, go to our website and download they, every episode we have. They don't have the internet there. Because yeah. <laughs> they, well, they just got indoor plumbing like last a, they week. They got like a coal-fired router. <laughs> I, I, I would yeah. like to apologize for what I just said about West Virginia. I wouldn't. So. I have a long line of family from West Virginia. I currently have people um, that I consider that are actually literally family yeah. in West Virginia. So yeah. I can say these things. Yeah. So yeah. when I was a kid and we grew up in Belfast, Virginia, yeah. which is one of the greatest holes in the world. <laughs> There were times when we would drive to Bluefield, West Virginia. I lived in Bluefield yeah. when I was two. And you'd have to drive through Beckley. That's where my and, mom's from. Yeah, yeah. And so... Wait, um, no, it's not. It's She's from near there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. A lot of coal mining towns. Yes. Go through the, and so... But back when... Back in the day... Uh, when you know, when I was a kid, we would drive through there, and it was, it was just a lot of coal mining towns, yeah. a lot of th- nothing to do. So, no, no matter where we went, there was nothing to do. We'd get to Bluefield, and then all of a sudden, there's this mall. There's a mall there. there now? Well, there used to be. Okay, yeah, there used to be the Bluefield Mall. I don't know what they held. I remember called. what I remember in Bluefield, and mm-hmm. re- I was two. Mm-hmm. I remember there was a, a large tree and a, uh, a chain link fence. Yeah. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's probably that's probably the nicest yeah. thing you saw in and West there was Virginia. A, and there was a staircase that went to a basement that was lit. It uh-huh. wasn't like some kind of weird saw thing. It yeah. was a lit, <laughs> nice basement. Yeah. Uh, and there was a kitchen. Uh, those are the things I remember. That's what uh, you remember about, about West Virginia. Yeah. Well, <laughs> about Bluefield. Oh, okay. Uh, I would like to say, uh-huh. so my family uh-huh. is, if you, have you heard of the, the movie October Sky? Yeah. Okay. The coal mining movie. Yeah. It's a really good movie. That's where my mom and dad are from. My okay. dad actually worked in that coal mine. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and the teacher in the movie, Homer Hickam's teacher or whatever, mm-hmm. was my, my dad. She was my dad's teacher. Like, he went to the same school. Okay. So yeah, when that movie came out, it was like a big deal for him, and we, you know, they. I, I wasn't. I was in college. You know, they, all they these years school. I've known you. I never knew your dad was a coal miner. Yeah, well, for just like for a couple of years while he was going okay. through college. Yeah, he was the first of his family to oh, go okay. to college and leave the town, and my mom was the first of her family to go to college and leave the town. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And I'm the first one to blast it on the internet. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I love, okay. So okay. full disclosure, I yeah. love West Virginia. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Uh, longtime listeners and mm-hmm. longtime friends of mine know that Tudor's Biscuit World. I love Tudor's Biscuit World. Absolute reverence. Yes. If you are in up area where there's a Tudor's Biscuit World, if you are, you're in West Virginia. Go there right now. Well, listen to this podcast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then go to Tudor's exactly, Biscuit World. Uh, and get yourself a Golden Eagle biscuit, mm. and get yourself the gravy platter, gravy over one biscuit. Don't do gravy over over two. I mean, mm-hmm. you can. Yeah. I used to back in the day, but that's how Daddy ended up being yeah. on the obese side of things. So mm. yeah. So I I have fond uh, I have a fondness for West Virginia, which is why I <laughs> on it because it's fun. You, it's like you have your brother and you smack him around every once in a while. It's fun, <laughs> right? You know what I mean, right? But kind of like why I make fun of Indiana from yeah, yeah. time to time. So this whole thing that you did, yes, led to one of my favorite <laughs> things that's ever happened, and I'll tell you why. Yeah, uh, because you were the butt. Uh, you got attacked. Uh, online. I and did. I'm, I'm going to read mm-hmm. the post. So yeah. you get into a little nuts and bolts of how we do things here. Darren edits the audio version. That's right. And I create the video reels. Yeah. Uh, we pick snippets from the show that we think um, are particularly engaging or whatever. Yeah, Mike gives a little, and, little samplings. Yeah, little samplings, little miniature shows and throw them out there. And the uh, your little rant on West Virginia, which I believe starts out with uh, your state sucks. Sucks. <laughs> Again, my apologies yeah. to West Virginia. So we're on the TikTok, and uh-huh. I would I would urge all of you to follow us on TikTok <laughs> yeah. because that's where that's where people engage with our content the yeah. most. I think. Yeah, we're, yeah. And and we had a a, a gentleman mm-hmm. who wrote uh, in response to your video takedown of the state. Yes. Quote: mm-hmm. They probably don't have a state tax on their gas. Right. I fact check this. They have the tenth highest state tax on their gas. Okay, so he's wrong. He's wrong there. Okay. The next. It, well, the, hold on. Even if he was correct, I gassed up long before we got yeah, to Virginia yeah, yeah. or West Virginia. Yeah. Uh, and, and I know a lot of you have already said, "I bet I know what the number one state is. It's California." Let me go off to the. Let me pull this car over and have a chat with you people okay. for a moment. Yeah. Yeah, California probably is the number one state. Yeah. When I was in Death Valley, gas was $9 a gallon. What? Jesus. You, you know why? Why? Because you're in Death Valley. Yeah. You're in a desert. Because where are you going to go? Somewhere you, else? Yeah, you're not going anywhere else. <laughs> Water was like $5 a bottle. What are you going to do? Let Not buy it and uh, die. I'm not paying these yeah. prices. Screw yeah. you. So. You're out. They had to put a pipeline out there. Uh-huh. They had to put a tank underground, all yep. this stuff, and pay some poor schlub to sit there <laughs> and watch the thing. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's going to cost a bit. $9 and a if, gallon. Look at a map. Go okay. look at the Giggle Maps. Some people call it Google Maps. <laughs> look at California. Do mm-hmm. the little thing where you do the terrain, uh-huh. where you can see the terrain. Yeah. Zoom out to where you see the whole state in your monitor. You know what you see? You see a lot of brown. You know why? It's a desert. Yeah. Most of it is a desert, yep. and the part that's not a desert has huge trees with bears that will murder you. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. People complain about the California, how, how much things cost. It's because you have to pay people that are willing to go out in the desert yeah. and willing to fight bears. Yeah, yeah. But I digress. Yeah. Uh, back to West Virginia. Back to West Virginia. And this, On this comment, by the way, this comment has three sentences, and they get progressively better. So the first one was... <laughs> They probably don't have a state tax on their gas. We've already... The next one was when I started to laugh. Okay. Giggled. I was giggling out loud. Uh, $4.25 times four equals $17, <laughs> which is true. That's that's true. No. No, no. no. $4.25 times four. Oh, but, but Did I, I say three? Times four. But I went... But I stopped three times. Uh, See, my... Jo- it was a joke, kids. Yeah. I said... Four dollars and twenty five cents. I stopped three times. That's like fifty dollars. Yeah, yeah. I got that. It was a joke. I got that. Yeah. It's funny that he didn't. And not only did he not, <laughs> he he, he, me on my he said, "Uh, uh, uh. It's this. It's uh-huh. actually seventeen dollars." Uh huh. That led to the part that I laughed out loud. I cackled. Uh huh. Quote: "You're a miserable man." <laughs> 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 I am. Uh, uh, good times. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> I love that so much. Hey, what's funny is I doubt <sighs> seriously that that guy is even from West Virginia. No, he's probably some guy like me who jumps on like the YouTube 
uh, Facebook page or whatever and yeah, start. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I, I love yeah. it so much. Yeah. Um, yeah, on yeah. it. I mean, I've been called names on there. I was called the the p word by I, someone. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I know what it was. It was the clip that I had about the the milk. Uh-huh. How you oh. have to put it on thing. I go, here's your blammo. Here's your yep. blank and milk. Yep, yep. Th- that was the, the response. The one response we got was a guy calling me the P word. Yeah. I will admit, mm-hmm. if you look through our catalog of reels, and I highly recommend that everyone do this. Oh, God, on, all of them. T- on TikTok, They're on Facebook, One after another is just, just more just and more entertaining line them up. the deeper you get. There's a Hello. lot of evidence uh-huh. of me being an idiot. Yes. And a weakling mm-hmm. and a... Um, uh, uh, idiot, yes. I an would, idiot. I wouldn't call you a weakling. Not a weakling. Well, yeah. well, he thought I was because okay. he called me that word. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm assuming that's what he meant. Right. I, I don't I'm know. gonna leave this topic off to the side, but I am gonna say, <laughs> I love it when people troll us like that. Oh I, yeah. I get a kick out of it. Oh, it's good. I always thought, you know, I, I went back when we were just like. In the beginnings, the primordial ooze of this, uh-huh. I was like, "Man, the first negative comment we got is going to crush me." Uh. It's it's been hilarious. <laughs> oh, I love the praise. Yeah, but I well, enjoy uh, what's what's cool is finally yeah. somebody acknowledged that well, they heard something that we said. That, that's what it is. We've only this been doing dude, this damn podcast yeah. for three years and two months. This miserable and, son of a yeah, bitch yeah. not only came across that reel, he watched it to the end. He <laughs> then. Did math. By God. Right. I, I, and you know what? Some of you are saying $4.25 <laughs> times four, you can do that in your head. I, he did not. No. He <laughs> he opened the calculator on app his phone. on his yeah, phone, yeah, yeah. making sure that he didn't close TikTok <laughs> and lose the comment. He did the math, uh-huh. and he copied and pasted because he was afraid he would make a mistake when he typed it in. That's what he... Oh. <laughs> and then you're a miserable man. <laughs> not you're an... <gasps> Not you're a dumbass. No, some, miserable. Some thought when you are a miserable, miserable man. Yep, yep. I'm. Ugh. That's like my. I'm 53, so that's my first old codger. Yeah. You miserable old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. That's like, and, and thank you for your comment. Yes, <laughs> sir. Mm. Beautiful landscapes, magnificent rivers and streams, exotic and awe-inspiring skies that fill your heart with joy. It's these images that trick your eyes into believing that you're traveling inside an actual Bob Ross painting. Hi, I'm Dave Lay, and I'm talking about, that's right, West Virginia. The only thing more amazing than the scenery is the fine folks that call West Virginia their home. That's right! So take those vacation plans you have scheduled and throw them out the damn window. Schedule your next trip right now to West Virginia. Bask in the glow of luxury and charming Southern hospitality. Learn more at wvtourism.com. I know this episode drops past the holidays, but... Sometime I, next year, I don't know when the hell. I have been fascinated with the Star Wars Holiday Special. Okay, Yeah, you've wanted I to keep, talk about it last week, I keep too. watching it a few minutes at a time. It's, it's all you can take. Uh, yeah. It's like five minutes here, ten minutes there. Um, <laughs> there is a scene... In the Star Wars Holiday Special, where Art Carney, okay, Oscar-winning yeah. actor Art mm-hmm. Carney, mm-hmm. I believe he won an Academy Award. Um, Is he the Grandpa Chewbacca guy? No, 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 okay. no. The Grandpa Chewbacca, the Grandpa Wookie, is itchy, and Chewbacca's son is lumpy. Chewbacca's <sighs> wife is Mala, and the first ten minutes of the special is all. <laughs> Boy. Wow. Okay. Lumpy is yeah. like this little kid, right? Mm-hmm. He's like annoying his grandfather. And then he pisses off his mom. She's wearing an apron. Yeah. Okay. She's cooking. Yeah. Yeah. And she keeps, you know, okay. Hey, hey. It is mind blowing how yeah. bad it is. Yeah. Okay. Finally, uh, I don't know how far into it, Art Carney, who is a traitor. T R A D E R. Oh, he trades okay. things. It's got interesting. Right, right. Uh, he shows up at their house to bring them some gifts to check in on them because it's Life Day, right? It's not Christmas. Oh, it's, it's not Christmas. It's yeah, Life yeah. Day. November. I think it's November seventeenth that the Star Wars community celebrate Life Day. Hmm. So this is the part that really super ooper duper schmooper creeped me out. He gives Mala a Christmas present. He gives Lumpy a Christmas present, and then he walks over to Itchy, which is Chewbacca's dad, and he goes, hmm. "Yeah, I know what you want." And he 
pats him on the shoulder and he puts this helmet like a VR thing. Okay, this is VR, a virtual reality helmet, yeah. long before we had virtual reality. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he turns it on and okay. and Itchy leans back a little bit and starts watching this trippy light show. Everything starts okay. you know, and yeah. it's weird. It's like, dude, you know, pass me some of that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what yeah. you're smoking, right? Yeah, yeah. Then this woman, kind of scantily clad, she has shoulders exposed and she says, I like you. And I know you like me. He says, <laughs> oh, okay. and, and and then she starts dancing around. Wow. And it's all trippy and, and okay. all freaky. And I'm like, what the hell? Could you imagine parents back when this yeah. was originally like, what what's happening here? Oh, what's my going on? God. Yeah. And it's just trippy as hell. It'd be like me and Oppenheimer when the boob came yeah. out. Like, oh, Uh-oh. <laughs> watch out. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And it's just it's just really, 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 really weird. And mm. then so we we think and spoiler alert, we think Chewbacca and Han Solo make it home because mm-hmm. Han Solo is trying to get Chewbacca home for Life Day. I'm going to light speed. That's the spirit. You'll be celebrating Life Day before you know it. That's yeah, yeah, the yeah. premise okay. of this. Okay. So Princess Leia's in it. Okay. Uh, like Anthony, actually, or is yeah, it she's some in lady? It. Yeah, okay. yeah, Princess Leia's in it. Yeah. Car- Carrie Fisher yeah. in, in the credits. Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia. Anthony Daniels as C-3PO. R2-D2 as R2-D2. R2-D2. Because what's Anthony as Daniels R2-D2. doing? R2-D2. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if he's ever had another credit. Yeah, there was there was backstage video, and uh, the one of the other actors complained about him just uh-huh. being an ass. Yeah. And there's backstage uh, had, or, or had, off off the whatever video. And Kenny Baker did not get along. Yeah, but yeah. there's there's like video of him just being a jerk. Yeah. And I'm sitting there thinking, dude, what do you what do you got to fall back on? You yeah. know, like what do you what do you yeah. you are thin enough to, to be to put fit. in that in that thing yep. and you speak. That's yeah. that's what you do. Yeah. Yeah. But I need to check because I don't know if he's had any other credits besides C three. Let's just go ahead and say okay, he has. That's the only thing he's nobody, ever done. Nobody listens yeah. to this for facts. Anthony Daniels has never done a different another thing in his life. No, never. never. He is a miserable man. He, yeah. Hmm. He owes me seventeen dollars. <laughs> yes, I was going to say in cents, but it's there's no sense. But I got past the trippy soft porn part of okay. the Star Wars holiday special, uh-huh. and then I get to this cartoon with, that features Boba Fett for the first time. Oh, okay. And the cartoon is really, really weird, and the yeah. characters are all bendy. That's I don't like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I I don't like it either. But I can't stop watching it, and I have found out that they have made a documentary, a disturbance in the Force. Okay, today is about de- the Christmas. Today is December fifth. It was released today okay. on Blu-ray. You okay. can you can uh, watch it somewhere. Yeah, and I, I'm gonna buy it. Okay, I've, it's on my Christmas list. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna own it, and I can't wait yeah. to watch it. Gilbert Gottfried, Weird Al, yeah. uh, Seth Green, a bunch of uh, okay. yeah people are talking about. It. The reason they made the documentary is to explain why they made it, and well, I'm fascinated with it to sell stuff. That's right to sell Star yeah. Wars. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You are listening to Irritable Dad Syndrome, Cincinnati's comedy podcast. Speaking of watching things, yeah, uh, we talked a little bit last week. Uh, Charlie is wanting to watch war movies, right? And Andrew and I and Bess are doing our best to explain to him, buddy, a there's not that many. How old is he? Ten. He's ten. Okay. There's not that many war movies that are appropriate for a ten year old. There aren't. There aren't any. No. But he made the argument, I've seen all the Avengers movies, and they're all PG-13. There have to be war movies that are PG-13. So we counteracted with, yes, but buddy, I'm not going to show you a movie that glorifies war. I'm just, I'm not going to like, yeah, we're just getting them like Starship Troopers. or I mean, I'm, that's kind of, I mean, yeah. it's it's tongue in cheek, but yeah. you're not going to get that when you're 10 years old. Part of the gist of just about any war movie is how war is hell and war is disturbing and you shouldn't do war. Yeah. All right. I mean, they can make it look cool, but at the end of the day, it's not a good thing. Even the Rambo movies by Rambo 4, he's like, dude, I'm get okay, really? Right. Don't go down that river. If you don't have a gun, you're not changing anything. Right. You know, Sylvester Stallone. I'm sorry. Rambo. Rambo. Says that. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. And then in the fifth one, there's there's a scene where he's like, oh, my gosh, really? I had to, I had to go kill like 50,000 people again? Yeah. He's tired of it. Yeah. So we're looking for something. So I look at the PG-13. Guess what's PG-13? Dunkirk. Okay. Now, you and I went to go see Dunkirk. That's right. 
It was Dunkirk is a two hour and ten minute heart attack. That's right. It starts out. Uh, you're like, oh, this guy is walking down. And I can say this because we just saw it literally a couple days right. ago, walking down the street. And then a gunshot fires out. Mm-hmm. From that point forward, it's like when you go over on a roller coaster, breakneck all the way down. Yeah. Like, uh, well, it's three stories. Yeah, yeah. One that takes place in a week. Yeah. One that takes place in an hour. A day. A, a one, day. One, and one, and one an that hour. takes place in an hour. Yeah, yeah. Right. And they all intersect mm, yeah. at one point. And it's awesome. It's Christopher Nolan. Well, it, there's a couple points. And again, I just literally just saw it. But yeah. there's parts where they see each other in different, you know, and you're like, oh, so this is happening at that right. point. Well, my point is, I don't know that a 10 year old is going to be able to to follow that. Well, he got that. He's watched, he's seen Tenet a few times. He likes Tenet. I couldn't get through Tenet. I can't. And he, I love Christopher Nolan. I, I have to watch it with him so he can explain it to me. <laughs> okay. But. He, he, I was like, I don't want to watch, you know, so he, we watched that. He thought it was good. Andrew really, really liked it. Andrew was like, that. and he's a huge Christopher Nolan fan. So he was like, that was really, really good. And the cool thing about Andrew is that his opinion on movies simmers for a bit. Yeah. And then he comes back and he gives you a revised opinion. So his immediate thing will be like, that was pretty good. Mm-hmm. And then we'll go upstairs and I'll get a water or whatever. And then like a few minutes later, he'll walk by and be like, that was a really good movie. And then the next day I'm taking him to work. Dunkirk was awesome. You know, he just like keeps yeah, building. Yeah. Um, so Charlie wanted to watch another one. I'm like, dude, I mean, come so on. So you watched Dunkirk with We watched with Dunkirk Charlie? with Charlie. And yeah. what did he think? He liked it. Okay. He thought, uh, he, he got annoyed because I made the mistake. I thought this would help matters to tell them that one story is over a week, one story is over a day, and one story is over an hour. Right. And that ended up being a mistake. I should have just pushed play and kept my mouth shut. Because every time it changed characters. Hey, what happened? Is, is this, this the, the week? Is this the, the hour? Is this yeah. the day? And uh, sure. Yeah. The first few times of that. Okay. Yeah. But after it's like the fifth time. Yep. The guy with the thing. Yeah. And it's like, that's the guy with the thing on the day story. It's like, dude, this is the day story. Yeah. Okay. But where's the other guy? There's no other guy. This is the guy with the day story. Where's it? The, and then it switches to the hour story. There he is. You said he wasn't in. It's switch story. They're right. in the plane now. That's the hour story. Right. Yeah, but I saw that. That guy's on the boat. That guy's not on the boat. Yeah. And then Andrew kicks in. Yeah, that's the guy on the boat. Like that's not. That's oh my god. That's okay. pause the movie. The guy on the boat is Cillian Murphy. That's the guy you pick up. Neither one of these guys is Cillian Murphy. How do you know that? I know this. I just know it. Yeah. That is uh, Tom Hardy, uh-huh. Bane. Yeah. From oh, that's Bane. Yes, because Christopher mm-hmm. Nolan uses all the same actors. That's why he uses Cillian Murphy too. He's Sandman. Yep. From the, oh yeah, he's Sandman from the Batman. Yes, yes, yes. And the other guy has great hair. And then the and, dude from Bridge of Spies who yeah. drove the boat yeah, yeah. was uh, what's his face? Yeah. Academy Award winner. Yeah. And then the guy yeah. that's standing on the pier in the week story, yeah. the commander, yeah. is. In the commander in like every war movie from World War II, because we watched Valkyrie last night, uh, and he's that he's in there. I was like, you've seen him, yeah, a bunch. And finally, the guy in Lord of the Rings in the Two Towers, that the king that's like, uh, and then gets turned into like the spell gets taken away from oh, him. Oh, he and was also in Titanic, and yes, he okay. was the, he was the captain yeah. on Titanic, yeah, and he was also in Valkyrie. Okay. He popped up, and I'm like, you know, that, 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 that guy. That, yeah. I, I digressed. Yeah. So we watched Dunkirk. He yeah. loved it. Okay, good. I want to watch another one. Yeah. <sighs> okay, <laughs> U571. Well, let's watch a trailer. As so- The trailer doesn't even start. The little Paramount Mountain, and it's kind of grainy. Oh, this is an old movie. I don't want it. Okay, it's from the 90s. Yeah. But that's Matthew McConaughey. He's still alive, and he's still making awesome yeah. movies. Do, wait, hold it. Charlie said, oh, this is an old movie. Yes. I want- I'm like, buddy. Mm. And then we watched mm. a few. we watched a few trailers of... Newer movies, yeah. but they're set in World War II. And he's like, this is old. Like, buddy, okay. World War II happened in the 40s, 30s yeah. and 40s. Yeah. Everything that is purporting to be a World War II movie is going to look like it was done in the 30s and 40s. Yeah. But the graphics are bad. Don't say graphics to me. This uh, is CGI. Uh, you yeah, know, we got that little. Oh, little boy. T- yeah, the okay. graphics. Okay. Right? Yeah, the graphics. Are there yeah. Still, yeah. Okay. Mm. They're still mm. mm. computer so, generated. Here, yeah. And I, I'm digressing too much. Let me get to the point. The point is, we, I, I, I was like, Valkyrie is PG 13. What's that about? That's about the plot to kill Hitler and it's got Tom Cruise. Oh, that sounds good. Yes. Yes, it does. So we start watching it and it has an action scene in the beginning. And then it's a lot of talking about how are we going to kill Hitler? You've yeah. seen Valkyrie. No. It's really good. I have not. Um, but isn't it the one that they made the meme out of? 
where they kept translating what Hitler said into, well, oh, no, the no, Steelers no. lose the Super Bowl? No, no, that's a different no. movie. Oh, okay, okay. That's a different movie. Okay. This one has probably one of the, meme. I remember the reading and review of this one. This one has probably one of the coolest transitions of language yeah. because it starts out and it's all subtitled in German and it's Tom Cruise speaking German and you're sitting there. I can imagine people in the theater when who saw it in the theater like, oh my God, I'm going to have to read this movie. Yeah. Uh, he's writing a letter and as he's t- as Tom Cruise is talking in German, you hear English Tom Cruise talk over him until the German fades away and it's English. Now all the Germans are speaking English. But you know they're really speaking German, but we're not going to make you read this movie. We oh, want we want your God. we want your eyes up here because that's why I couldn't stand Inglorious Bastard. Okay, yeah, there was a lot of I yeah, there's a lot of reading yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Point is, we didn't get very far in um, Valkyrie. Valkyrie because it has a lot of talking, and I'm like, yeah. dude, I mean, I want to get to the action. I was like, buddy, there's gonna not, there's yeah. not going to be a war movie that I'm going to show you. You've got to you've got to see what yeah. what leads up to the action. But it's it's you know what I want to mm-hmm. say is. These are made for older people yeah. who don't need to see the action all the time. Yeah. Right? You want to see something that's made for a younger audience primarily. You you want to go back to the Marvel things. Yeah. You know, maybe there's a Winter Soldier series, another season that's going to come out. That's a lot of fighting with guns. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Did that go anywhere? It didn't go anywhere. But the point, <laughs> you, you know, yeah. Hmm. No, it reminds me because Jacob came downstairs last night and we were getting ready to try to find and watch something. And we're searching through our TV, and he goes, "Oh, oh, can I watch Game of Thrones?" I'm like, "Yeah, you're, yeah, you're nine, <laughs> you're nineteen, <laughs> yeah, you can watch Game of Thrones." Oh, it was Jacob. Jacob. Okay, I was thinking yeah. you said Jacob, but yeah. I was thinking yeah. Cameron. I was like, okay. "Yeah, okay, he's right. nineteen. He okay. can watch Game of Thrones." Okay. Boy, we forgot how rapey and yeah, nudie. <laughs> just like five minutes into it, it's like full. Oh yeah. yeah! Oh yeah! They yeah. have they but. have full blown <laughs> just s- stuff just going on in the background. Orgy and yeah. I remember. I'm sorry, let me let me. Tyrion have, Lannister with nine oh, yeah. naked ladies all just on top of him, all over the place, going to town. And yeah. I, it cracked me up because I read I read the first book, mm-hmm. and in the first season, there's multiple scenes where two characters are talking, and there's two other ones just banging away in yeah, the background for no down. reason. No, for no reason. Just and because. they're they're a little bit blurred. Yeah. And you're like, okay, at least it's blurred. And then one of them walks up and says, "Hello, you, you, you got a you got a rubber." Yeah, you, they, they don't. They, they, don't, they, don't, they <laughs> didn't you know, wear rubbers then, Mike. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And I, I told Bess, I was like, I, the, I can show you that I can show you in the book. There is not two people banging in the background in this right. scene. It's not supposed to be. Well, there. I, I, but we, it's an awesome series. Well, yeah, but we were watching it with Jacob, and we, like, I can't. F- five times we was like, oh boy, Jacob, we didn't real, we forgot. Yeah, I can't and do a boob. I was like, I can't watch this in, with Mm-mm. with you, buddy. No. And I told him, I said, there's a rule here. You're not allowed to ask any questions mm-hmm. because there are characters in season one who don't pop up again till season four. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes there's this character in season three who's the brother mm-hmm. of the woman who was raped, pillaged, burned to death in season two. Yeah. And you're like, the who o- is she? I don't know. The only question yeah. you're allowed to ask in Game of Thrones is in the last scene of the last season, you're allowed to look at everybody in the room and say, wait, what? He's king? Yeah. What the hell was that? And yeah. the well, answer is... Spoiler. Yeah, I guess. It's a he, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, well I mean, if it was a yeah. she and a queen. But yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think we're going to watch any more of Game of Thrones with Jacob. It was very uncomfortable. I want to watch... Uh, what's the thing? The new one? The, the oh the uh, uh, daughter the, the, something the king, king of dragons the, uh, the, uh, land land of dragons something yeah. queen of dragons I started watching that and it was pretty oh. good and then then I just I was like I can't do it anymore I, yeah. there were some characters that were so great great across your skin annoying yeah that I was just like nope and I stopped watching it I tell you what the house of the dragon house of the dragon yep 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 boy I'm a sucker for a good villain <laughs> <laughs> and. uh that dude, uh, George R. R. Martin, can write some great vi- like Joffrey. Oh. You wanna, you wanna like uh, reach oh. through the screen and strangle him. Yes, that's one thing. But the other thing is that he will like. I hated Jamie Lannister mm-hmm. in the beginning of the series, right? And then by the end of it, he's like the hero. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Like, I'm like this guy's awesome. How? Yeah, <laughs> I feel manipulated. Yeah, like somewhere, someone cast a spell on me. Something happened. Some. Uh, Narrative trick was used. Yeah. And I've been manipulated. Yeah. This portion of our show is brought to you by Dave Lay Heating and Cooling. Hi, I'm Dave Lay. 
and I've been the announcer for Irritable Dad Syndrome for a couple of years now. And let's face it, the podcast money ain't rolling in like we had hoped. So I opened up my own heating and cooling company to make ends meet. Now you might ask, Dave, what do you know about heating and cooling? Well, here's the thing. I know when a room is too hot and when a room is too cold. And somebody has to do something about it. Schedule an appointment today and I'll give you a free estimate. Plus a new filter. Limited time only. Offer may vary. See website for details. Dave Lay Heating and Cooling. For people who want their home to feel just right. Now, back to the show. Somebody was uh, posting on their Facebook page a story about the Elf on the Shelf. Okay. And they're running out of things to do with their Elf on the Shelf. We yeah. can't figure out where to put it and something else. And and it reminded me, th- this. my oldest son is the reason why my youngest son needs trauma therapy. <laughs> because Cameron, when he was little, I can't remember how old he was, little, like five, six, mm. was taking a shower. Okay. Jacob went into the bathroom and put the elf on the shelf in the shower okay. on the sink. Okay. okay, so Cameron gets out of the shower, looks. There's the elf at the shelf staring He's, at him. Yeah. He screamed so loud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you probably heard him here at this house. Yeah. Our friends in West Virginia probably heard yeah. Cameron screaming. That, that's borderline paranormal activity. Yes. Yeah. He <laughs> screamed. And then I heard screaming, and I'm like, what the hell's going on? And then Libby had to go calm him down yeah and then we found out what jacob did and oh god we he was in such trouble <laughs> but for weeks for months <clears throat> yeah. after that cameron would not take a shower upstairs okay he had to take a shower in our bathroom okay. and he would not take a shower unless someone was watching the bathroom <laughs> on guard okay uh, to yeah. make sure that the elf on the shelf didn't get I in don't the bathroom blame him. those things are yeah. creepy as, yeah. as hell yeah i <laughs> just yeah <laughs> I'm like, I want this elf on the shelf to die a slow, <laughs> slow, painful death. Speaking of dying a slow and painful death, yeah, marbles uh-huh. and or booba. <laughs> so we have, you noticed when you came in, our Christmas tree is up. Yeah. 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 Um, like morons, we put ornaments down near the bottom of the tree. Right. And you our, have dogs. You can't do that. Our dogs are idiots. Uh-huh. And they... One of them ate one of Charlie's ornaments. And by Charlie's ornaments, I mean an ornament that is for Charlie and has his name and the date uh, and everything. Was it one that he made? Uh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Thankfully, it was not one that okay. he made. It was made for him. Okay. And then um, this one happened maybe 10 minutes before you came up the, the driveway into mm-hmm. our house. Yeah. Um, there was a loud, oh, my God. You know, the kind of that that means either someone's found a infant that we didn't know right. Mar- was in the house. Marbles or was humping the Christmas tree. Something, yeah. Okay. No, marbles ate our Barazona ornament, the ornament that we got from Barazona. At the, we're never going to Barazona again. Yeah, it's literally it's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's you only go there if you're doing a thing like we did. Not yep. really. Pissed us. That's where this. That's actually this came from. Arizona. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For our for our viewers. Yeah, this is an audio podcast. Yeah, yeah. audio yeah. podcast. But yeah. Yeah. You can. You guys can see that. Anyway, um, so they're on our. Sh- Let me tell you something that happened last night. I used to have a refrigerator magnet. It was a turtle that I got from Hawaii. Okay. Yeah. It is like a. Uh, it was made out of seashells, but yeah. it was a magnet and it looked okay. like a turtle. Okay. I had it on a refrigerator. Yeah. And Conrad ate that, and I was like, When am I going to go back to? To Hawaii, Conrad. Yeah. You dumbass. And he didn't answer you, did no, he? No, he didn't. No. No, he's just... <laughs> Time now for the Casey's Story of the Week. Speaking of dead, Casey's is dead to me. What, what did Casey's the do? The last four times. Four times I've went in there. Yeah. They don't sell lemon pies anymore. Yeah. The main reason why I went into Casey's, the only reason mm-hmm. why I went into Casey's was to mm-hmm. get lemon pies and occasionally maybe a story for this podcast. Yeah. They've stopped selling the lemon pies. Yeah. They're mm-hmm. dead to me. They, Casey's, you are no longer a sponsor of this podcast. This has been the Casey's Story of the Week. Kroger's can suck it too. What, what did they do this time? I'm just done. I'm yeah. over them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good story. I walked into the house yesterday, uh-huh. and Jacob looks at me and says, Dad, did you know that mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell? Oh, okay. okay. And I said, yeah. I, I said, I'm sorry, what? He goes, yeah. Mito- mitochondria. Yeah. I said, mitochondria? He goes, yeah, mitochondria. It's the powerhouse of the cell. For, and I'm like, well, because yeah. I told him, I said, mitochondria sounds like 
a monster that would be in one of those Godzilla movies. Yeah. It was mitochondria. Yeah, yeah. When all of a sudden this huge creature, this giant crustacean from the Paleolithic era, comes out of the water. We were so scared, Lord, I mother, I jumped up in the boat and I said, Thomas, what on earth is that creature? It stood above it looking down with these big red eyes. Oh, it was so scary. And I yelled, I said, what do you want from us, monster? And the monster bent down and said, I need about 350. He goes, no, no, it's it's that. Yeah, and then absolutely. and Cameron walks in and I said, He's like, what are you guys talking about? I said, mitochondria. Oh, the powerhouse of the cell? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, the powerhouse of the... of the. Why does everybody know? For I- those of you in West Virginia, <laughs> mitochondria is the coal-fired plant of the cell. The, the Tudors <laughs> enters the cell. And the mitochondria cranks up the coal plant. <laughs> yes. And digests yes. the Tudors <laughs> but- so that the cell can, but can yodel. Cameron just looked at me like, duh, of course it's the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't even know yeah. what it means. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, the mitochondria are weird, ladies and gentlemen. If any of you are in school or going to take a test or even going to try to quote this at a party, don't because we're idiots. <laughs> Just we're idiots. But mitochondria, I believe, Mm -hmm. is like a symbiotic little thing. Like it's just there, sure, and it does stuff. Yeah, and it's it's like kind of does its own thing. And there was a a theory that I read. It could have been God knows where I got it. That the mitochondria may someday be like, yeah, I'm tired of this. Right. I'm tired of being the coal fire plant for this cell. I'm going to be my own cell. Yeah. And then at that point we just go. (laughs) I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think so either. Yeah. Mainly because I don't trust my own knowledge. Right. Mm. You mentioned party. I did. Did I? Yeah. Okay. A few weeks ago, Libby and I went to a party. Really? We, we were invited to a party. How was it? Yeah, it was great. Did you get Did you get schnockered? I did not get schnockered. Okay. I did. I had a couple of beers. And yeah. Libby drove me home. Okay. Um, Put a lampshade on your head. I did not. Okay. I did not. I went downstairs. They said uh, downstairs is where a lot of the drinks are, and there's some vinyl down there, and everyone's okay. listening to vinyl. Oh. And there's uh, a pool table. There's no, a bunch there's of guys a, with beanies a, down there. A, a, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Berets. <laughs> yes. Drinking. And they're all, yeah. they're all snapping Drinking. their fingers. <laughs> Black like, and white striped shirts like, like a, a po- mime. Like a poetry slam, yeah. <laughs> so I went down and, and uh, got a beer, and I'm looking through the vinyls, <laughs> and I find that they had Rolling Stones Tattoo You. I'm that's, like, okay. That's the one you yeah, want. Yeah. That's the one you want. And Start said, me up. And, and, the, and yeah. they said, yeah, you can, you know, and they're like, you're, you're next. You can, <laughs> you can listen to what you want. And yeah. So I'm like, I choose Tattoo you. Put it on. This guy uh-huh. comes over. Hey, 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 are you the one who picked the Rolling Stones? I said, yeah. He goes, I saw them in 1989 on the Steel Wheels tour. And I, said, oh, okay. I said, I I did too. Whoa. Wow, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's just talking, 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 yeah, talking about yeah, the yeah. Rolling Stones and yeah. how great this is and something else. And yeah. and a nice guy. I don't know his name. Okay. Um, and he's just a really cool guy and we're having a good time. He goes upstairs, and I'm getting some more snacks. Something that you people need to know about me is if you have a Rubik's Cube that's unsolved in your house, You're gonna I, solve it. I will solve it, yeah. Okay. And I'm down there, and I they had one in their entertainment center, okay. and I put it back together. And then, <laughs> and so if they're wondering who did that, it was me. Yeah. I go upstairs, and I'm talking to some more people, and I'm mm-hmm. Libby and I are, are socializing. Yeah. And this guy who was talking to me about the Rolling Stones is in the living room, and he's gotten a bunch of his buddies together, and he's decided that they're going to open a sweat lodge at Al's Lake House. Okay, a sweat lodge. A sweat lodge a is sweat where lodge. people are trafficked. No, no, okay. no, no, no. It's just where where a bunch of kind of like a sauna where oh, a bunch of guys oh. go hang out okay. and just sweat out all their stress, uh, all their uh, all their toxins. Uh, yeah, and mm. he's like Al. There's a guy at the party named Al. Al. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Al. We're going to yeah. build a sweat lodge up at your lake house. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay. Um, and, and I don't think Al's ever taken any improv classes because no, no. he doesn't know what to do with this. Yeah, yeah. Also, Al doesn't have a lake house. He could have shut the whole thing down right then so and there. So is, is a sweat lodge like in the Flintstones when they wore those hats with the horns, the Grand Poobah? No, that's kind of like joining the Moose Lodge. And, I, and yeah. that's not what a sweat okay. No. Okay. no, a sweat lodge is, again, Mike, uh, oh, pay attention. Okay. It's kind of like a big sauna. You go into a room yeah. with a bunch of men. Yeah. A and bunch of guys, someone puts steam in there, and you sweat and out you sweat. all your stress and your toxins, yeah. and the, all the males. I think bond. I think women can go to a sweat lodge too. In but, Europe, they can. Yeah. Okay. So but anyway, it's co-ed in Europe. This guy had decided, like, uh, Tim, you're coming. Dave, you're coming. Kenny, 
we're all going to Al's. And yeah. I'm standing there like, am, am I allowed? To, <laughs> can I can I come to the sweat lodge? He goes, yeah, hell yeah, sure, hell yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he told me all the rules. Yeah, I have to bring uh, my own pole. I don't know what you do with the pole. And I said, what do I do with the pole? And he goes, I don't know. Okay. And you have to bring a 15-foot buckskin, square-foot buckskin. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. The, uh, I, I don't know if I mentioned it or not. We were this at a party. Is, like this guy was <laughs> faced. Sounds like the beginning of Saw 8. <laughs> this yeah. guy was hammered. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Where do you find but a 15-foot <laughs> buckskin? I don't 15 know. 15 square, square foot. Feet, square foot. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. 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 You just find those on the side of the road <laughs> all over the... And I said... What do I need that for? Is that what I'm wearing? Yeah, yeah. Then, ah, you'll figure it out when you got it. Anyway, Al, we're yeah. gonna have this up at your lake house. Okay. And I was like, okay, yeah. Okay. So yeah. Wow. <laughs> and I was like, we should go to more parties. No. <laughs> it, was a, it was a fun mm. time. Mm. I don't think we're gonna uh, do any better. I don't. Than that, I think folks. we. I yeah. think yeah. If we so want to keep doing this, we yeah. need to stop. Yeah. So let, let's uh, let's recap. Okay. Uh, I apologize to our friends in West Virginia. Yeah. D- Mike's dogs ate all their Christmas ornaments, mm-hmm. and I'm invited to a sweat lodge at Al's Steakhouse. Nah, I think that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Al's, good one to kick the year off. <laughs> Not Al's Steakhouse. Yeah. Al's <laughs> Lake House. <laughs> Oh, by the way, Happy New Year, everybody. Hey, yeah, yeah, this yeah. Is the first this is thing the first after, episode you know, of the new, new year. year. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> Cheers off to a hell of a start. It is. It is. It's a real <laughs> banger. We want you to go to irritabledadsyndrome.com. You know what, Mike? Yes, We Darren. have gotten a ridiculous, a stupid mm. amount of downloads. I don't know. We, we've entered a new age. We've yeah. entered a, like a tier. We got a, a message that we're on a, a, a thing. Yeah. Um, Guys, so, we, we are on a thing. Yeah. Just like us, uh, share us, uh, follow us, share us with your friends. Yeah. That, those, that kind of stuff apparently matters. Yeah. We got a notification from the, yeah. the place that said, you've gone up a thing. Yeah, we... <laughs> I don't. I don't know how we've to say up, what. I don't know what it is. We, we've thing. gone up a thing, but it's clear we've gone yeah. up a thing. No, we have gotten just a stupid, ridiculous amount of downloads. We're not used to getting this many, and I'm not complaining. I'm thanking you, all of our new listeners, all of our uh, steady, tried and true listeners who have been with us since the beginning. Thank you for downloading this podcast. All of our we trolls. sincerely appreciate it, and everybody who thinks I'm a miserable man. Thank you for calling Darren a miserable man. Thank you. Yeah, that yeah. is the best Christmas present. Anyone could have given me. <laughs> you were so happy that it was at me. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I had already been called the P word. It's the P word. Now you're a miserable <laughs> I'm man. I'm a miserable man. That's what we should be. Hey, it's a miserable man in the. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Coming at you live. <laughs> So yeah, go to irritabledadcenter.com. You can download every episode we have, and you can go to Patreon, and if you want to donate money, this... There's cool stuff up there. Okay, listen. Now, Mm. this is like the best time ever to become a patron of our podcast, because we have literally hours of footage, bonus audio, that normal listeners... And video. Yeah. Yeah. Hours. Yeah. Hours of bonus clips. A lot of stuff. That most people don't get to see or hear. Yeah. 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 So, all right. Uh, Guys, take care. We hope to see you next week on Irritable Dad Syndrome. Irritable Dad Syndrome is a Mike Odell, Darren Cox production. If any of you are following us on Facebook and you're here to complain, take it down the street. (laughs) Yeah. I'm all about trying new things, Darren. Okay. Okay. Uh, You know what I actually... Do you want to slam some of the things on the table while you're at it? (laughs) Share. Oh. Oh